I'm Alex McCord for RumorFix.com, discussing episode 16 of The Real Housewives of New York City, also known as The St. Bart's Debrief. Well, they spent so much money on the episode, of course they have to have an episode dedicated to the fallout. Debrief scene number one, with Sonia, Ramona, and Luann at a cooking party. Seems to kind of devolve into screaming, because both Ramona and Sonia want to make their points right away at the same time, while Luann's busy having sex in the kitchen with Jacques, trying to prove that what happened in St. Bart's stayed in St. Bart's. Interesting point Ramona made, that this was not the Aviva she knew, and she'd like to get to the bottom of it. More on that later. Debrief scene number two with Carol and Heather. I loved it! They were getting drunk and making out in a gay bar. We need more of that and less of the fighting. Interesting point came up that Aviva never does shots. Hmm, that sounds like Kelly. Kelly is a number one, dot, dot, dot. Debrief scene number three with Heather and Luann. They were at cross purposes. I think Heather was waiting for Luann to say something about Toma Gate, and she never did. She talked about Aviva, and then she talked about IVF. Really? Are we still doing the baby line? I can't believe this. I really can't. Now, Luann had a chance to defend Ramona, and she didn't. Luann was present for Ramona saying that this was not like Aviva. She saw that Ramona felt remorse. She had a chance to say that to Heather and did not. Very interesting. Debrief scene number four, the new girls. Oh my gosh, the rookie mistakes. Wow. Aviva was on message. She had a one-track mind. Kelly is a number two. But the new girls didn't call her out. They saved it for the interview. Now, girls, if you want to stay housewives, you need to grow a pair and you need to say things to people's faces. Don't save it for the interview. Debrief scene number five with Payman. Oh, we love Payman. Uh, back on July 3rd in my Rumor Fix episode, I wore a shirt that Payman made for Simon. He has this uncanny ability to look you in the eye, see into your soul, and ask questions you don't want to be asked. <laughs> Classic. He did it to Carol, and she wanted to slink down into the couch. She preferred to ignore Payman and rather try and get Sonia to remember that she said a few offensive things too in St. Bart's. Sonia didn't remember, but hey, at least they got measured for some fabulous new shirts. Debrief scene number six between Heather and Aviva. Oh, Aviva, three strikes, you're Kelly. You brought up the B word. Bully? Okay, let's get one thing straight. When you sign up to be on a TV show where you are paid to engage in cage fighting with other adult females, you do not get to use the term bully. Grow up. She managed to be simultaneously elitist and a victim because then she brought up a term that she'd used before. I don't even want to say it. So let's say whiskey tango. Okay, so she defined whiskey tango as moral failure. No, sorry, Aviva, you're wrong. The only way you come up with that definition is if you go way into the disambiguation of all the potential meanings of the term. Nobody wants to spend that much time on Wikipedia. Let's define it. Whiskey tango is an elitist, pejorative, nasty term that refers to Caucasian people below the poverty line. It's a horrible thing to say. It's disgusting. And by Aviva employing it and continuing to use it and stand behind it, she is proving that she's engaging in moral failure, not the other ladies. Ugh, it was disgusting to me. You know who won the episode for me this week who really shone? It was Sonia. Sonia brought real problems to the party. She's about to meet with her ex, whom she hasn't seen in six years. She needs to somehow deal with the settlement issue because she's got lawsuits to deal with and other shenanigans. I felt really, really, really drawn to her. She just laid it all out there. She was honest. And then, in the sit-down with Aviva in the pizza place, she was articulate. She didn't turn purple. She didn't sputter. She didn't try to throw Aviva out of the restaurant. She didn't get up on her high horse. She said her piece. She looked Aviva in the eye. She said, okay, we don't need to be friends. And she left. Brilliant. Beautifully handled. Let's move on to a Twitter question. Carrie Hopkins asked me this week whether I'd rather be stranded on an island with Kelly or Aviva. As we saw in this week's webisode, I think they were kind of one in the same, so I guess it was double or nothing. <laughs> I'm Alex McCord for RumorFix.com. I will see you um, next Tuesday uh, drinking some whiskey and dancing the tango. Yeah. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks. Bye-bye.